in this video, I'm going to show you the number one blitz in Madden 23 that you can use to shut down any kind of bunch formation, as well as really any kind of compression set that you might be facing. Now, this comes to us out of the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. We're taking a look at the Dime 1-4, also known as the 1-4-6. If you want to get my entire 1-4-6 defensive ebook, we actually just put a massive update in the Patreon last week breaking down this defense. Now, um, this defense is actually really simple to run, and there's some modifications we make down to the Patreon that can actually make this blitz pretty much unstoppable, as well as applicable to more spread out sets today we're going to show you how to use it to slow down kind of bunch and tight or just some of the meta that you're going to be seeing so uh this blitz is really simple uh it's out of the cover two sink and coaching adjustment wise the only thing i did was i put my zone coverage on match and that's pretty much it and so the setup is very simple all we're going to do is we're going to hit r1 twice and that's going to qb contain off that edge from there, we're just going to stand about right here, and the blitz is completely set up. As you can see, you're either going to get a loop or you're going to get a disengage off of the edge. Now, the beauty of this defense is that it aligns really, really well. So let's say, for example, that you wanted to um, you know, maybe run some man coverage. You'll notice that if I audible to man, that cornerback will move, um, which is not what we want. So you'll see here, the splits will still come in, but it's a little bit of a different style of pressure. It's not as good against a block running back. What makes this specific blitz so good um, is the fact that the alignment's already really set for you. And then even if they block a running back, you'll see here that the block running back's not really gonna, it's not, it's going to sometimes pick up the pressure. But as you saw right there, like he still got to the quarterback. The quarterback would have still felt that pressure and that pressure would have still impacted the throw more than likely. And that's what we get uh, with this cover two sink. Now, if you wanted to, you could send off of the right side edge. You could send this corner. All you need to do is just move him a step or two, and then he would be on the contain as well, and you have potential to basically double loop or double gap uh, the, the quarterback with pressure. Now, what I think makes this blitz so effective is when if they do come out a bunch, if you move this guy just a step, when they audible to tight, you'll notice here, that he does not move. And so now he's still going to be in that loop. And so against tight, the splits is even more consistent off of that edge, just like that. Now, I will say that the default alignment that this play has in it, even if, see, I didn't move him, he still is going to be in good position to, you know, do what he needs to do. The one thing I would say, though, is if you watch here, some formations in tight, not all of them, but some of them, they can um, cause some challenges in terms of, let's say that we motion this guy across. See how that corner moved out a step? Here he's still on the contain and some compression sets, such as just regular gun tight, he might not stay on a contain. So you see, I mean, just the consistency, see, the consistency that we're able to loop with this guy. So what this also means is we could kind of go with kind of some of the dollar things we've learned from dollar and apply it to 146. So if we wanted to man up, right, maybe we could do a defense like this and essentially have man coverage across the board with a nice bracket concept over here on the back side of this. And then the beauty of this is now we're playing really good man coverage with a really good blitz that's going to put the quarterback on a timer and make it difficult for them to attack. The same thing is true on tight offset or tight. If I would still bring these safeties down. I do think it's helpful. Uh, but once you bring them down, what you can do here is we can kind of go with some different style of man coverage adjustments. Um, you know, as we can see right here and basically cross man the running back, but everybody's manned up. Blitz is going to come in. Hard to beat this defense. Obviously there, maybe we need to back off the outside guy, but you see the idea, and this is a very good blitz that you can, if you can make all these adjustments, you can really start to uh, get pretty cagey defensively. Now, the other thing I did want to show you about this blitz is how it goes against a blocked running back out of tight. So if they block the running back out of tight, I will say I think it's a little bit better against tight than bunch. You'll see here if they block the running back, oftentimes it's going to get to the quarterback. See how it gets that quick shed animation? And he basically wraps the quarterback up for a sack. 
Now, another thing you can do to try to kind of get this to come in, if they are consistently blocking a running back, let's say that you know that they're doing that, take the defensive tackle and just man him up on the running back and blitz your user. And a lot of times that'll suck the running back in just enough that he can get that nice little slip around animation on the backside. Guys, I believe that this is the best blitz in Madden right now out of the 146. If you want to learn exactly everything that I do out of 146, got a full ebook on it, as well as an updated version that breaks down this specific defense against every formation that you're going to see online. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to join the Patreon, head down to the description and go click the link down below.